Quick question. If you could pull clean data from any document PDF scans Excel, what would you grab first? Today I'm reconciling a purchase order in Excel with an invoice in PDF. Watch this. I uploaded my Excel purchase order together with the invoice on the same Google Drive folder. Each one of them has three items and they have a mismatch. The total balance is mismatched and the, the price of the third item. My automation triggers automatically. I extract the information from both. I normalize it and I determine if they are a match or no. In this case, I received a stack notification saying, hey, these two didn't reconcile properly and here is why. The balance did not match and the price of the last item. Let's walk through the implementation. I'm using a manual trigger. Then I will search my uh, files to reconcile on a Google Drive folder. I uh, download them both and I determine the file type. I have here two branches. One is for PDF and one is for Excel. In case of PDF, I upload them to Mistral. The goal is to extract the information using optical character recognition uh, so that I can uh, process it later on. To achieve this, I use the Mistral. Then I will get assigned the URL and the result. The result of the OCR, it will be in markdown format. And the goal is to transform it from markdown to JSON so that we can interpret it. To extract the information from markdown, I'm using the information extractor. Here, I want my information to be structured uh, using a particular schema. So I used define using uh, JSON, and this is my schema. I want my information to be structure, structured this way. And as I can see, I have uh, the invoice number, date currency, and the three items with all the details, like product description, quantity, unit price, and line total. In case you have uh, two units, it will uh, be the total. Now I used the uh, Gemini uh, flash because it is passed. And then I'm uh, merging the, the two branches together. So in the top branch, I will have the PDF, which is the invoice. And in the lower branch, I will have the Excel. For the Excel, I will download it using Google Drive node. Then I will convert it from Excel to PDF using a third party tool called uh, Convert API. This is their endpoint. They have uh, one API that allows you to do HTTP request. And I'm using uh, Mistral to do the same, meaning with these three nodes, I'm extracting the information from the newly generated PDF to Markdown. Now the Markdown looks like this. And I'm using the same schema as before in information extractor. My goal is to use the same schema both for the invoice and for the purchase order. Once I have them both, I will merge. The result uh, will be a JSON with two items. And I can see I have the invoice with all the details, including the three items. As I can see the third one, in the invoice has uh, 1,400 and this is the balance. And the second item has a different balance. So this is uh, one mismatch and the price of the third product, it's different. It's 1,000, right? So these ones will not uh, match. Now, I will aggregate them to get one item. Both of them will be in a single JSON. And I will message a model saying the goal is to respond to me in JSON and identify the reasons in case of mismatch. The LLM uh, said, hey, you have uh, the field balance due and uh, beware that in invoice you had this value, 3850, as opposed to the PO value, which was uh, 3450 together with the price of the third product. 
the name of the product together with the price difference. Price from invoice, price from PO. Together with the line total, in my case I had only one item for this product and the line total was also different, right? One item with this price and one item with this price. Next, in case of a mismatch, I will uh, transform this uh, JSON into a user-friendly message and I will send uh, the notification on Slack saying, hey, beware that uh, this is uh, not a match. This is how it looks like and the Slack message looked like this. The difference, right? Invoice shows 1,400, PO shows 1,000. And the line total as well, and the balance due as well. Here is how you can uh, even build more on this flow. After you decided is this a match or not, you can even go to QuickBooks or Xero or FreshBooks and create a bill based on the, the invoice in case they are a match. You can either use uh, out-of-the-box uh, nodes that NA10 offers, but I noticed uh, some of them have some limitations. For example, I experimented with Xero, so my best bet would be a custom API call using the HTTP node. I'm curious, what kind of documents are you still processing uh, manually? Let me know in the comments below.